This time, Arsenal have been linked with both Darwin Nunes and Dominic Calvert-Lewin people, who ironically both play for Liverpool-based clubs, both play in an area I'm sure if Arsenal can see a player that they deem good enough will look to do business. Whether you're convinced in the signing of Darwin Nunes or Dominic Calvert-Lewin, let me know, people. I don't know where you're at with that. Apparently, we've identified a new goalkeeping target, courtesy of The Athletic, and Reese Nelson could follow Eddie and Ketchy and Emil Smith-Rowe in progressing from Halen, reaching our first team, and ultimately being sold by the football club as he's been linked with Fulham people. And there's a little couple isms and schisms where Osserman's concerned. So allow me to share my screen with you lot and let's crack straight on now. Now, apparently Chelsea considering Premier League striker as alternative to Osserman transfer, but Arsenal also keen. Now, Chelsea have been linked with Dominic Calvert-Lewin and probably a gazillion players since I've started recording this video. Chelsea and Arsenal are among the clubs showing an interest in Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin as we edge closer to the end of the summer. A transfer window it closes on Friday. Sources have informed Court outside that Calvert Lewin's future, Everton future, remains in some doubt. With Chelsea, Arsenal, and Newcastle United monitoring his situation as a possible cheap option on the market. This comes as Victor Osman is seemingly not keen on accepting a proposal from Saudi Pro League club Al Elahi. With Chelsea, his dream move and clear preference as he looks to leave Napoli. The Nigerian international also had an agreement on personal terms with PSG early this summer, but he is currently considered too expensive for both PSG and Arsenal. And you see some rumours for Chelsea. So, especially with the money Chelsea is spending, you know, if your demands are absurd to them, you're doing something wrong. Now, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, as we know, his stock has fallen. Where you look at English strikers, you know, Ollie Watkins, Solanke, Ivan Tony, to a degree, even Callum Wilson, he was getting in the England side. Dominic Calvert-Lewin's, when his stock was high, he was seen as the alternative to Harry Kane. And you even Tammy Abraham was kind of in the same boat as him. He's been linked with AC Milan. But there was a time we was linked with Dominic Calvert-Lewin. A couple of years ago, he was scoring a lot of goals. Unfortunately for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Stock has fallen, not really scoring goals. And injuries is a big theme of that. Now, Everton, again, they probably do need to sell players. You know, it's, it's been a bit of a disastrous start for them. And they have got a, a you know, a, a delicate kind of financial structure at the moment. You know, we was linked with him. He is English. He can be used as a rotation or option. He is a battering ram. He does add height to our team, which has been a theme of what Mikel Arteta has brought in and looked to invest in. So there are some good. And maybe because of, the connotations around him and why he stops falling. Maybe he could be available for a price that makes sense. I could understand why he would feature on some sort of scouting reports will be considered an option. But for me, I don't really buy this, people. Let me know your thoughts. I guess he could be seen as affordable. And I never knew that. But apparently the 27-year-old has one year left on his Everton contract. So that obviously adds fuel to the fire. And, you know, even Eddie Nketiah has been seen in higher demand than Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So I'd wonder why Dominic Calvert-Lewin hasn't quite secure the move yet if he is to leave Everton again everyone's situation is different but let me know your thoughts on Dominic Calvert-Lewin parking the striker stuff for a second earlier today people um, the Athletics' James McNicholas said, Arsenal exploring a deal for Wigan goalkeeper Sam Tickle, who's apparently, I've never watched him like that, but six foot plus. They say he's good with his feet. He could be installed as a second or football, well, probably the third choice if we get Garcia. He is obviously homegrown, so there's a lot to like. Uh, again, to say a fee has been agreed and stuff like that is, is probably premature, but Arsenal exploring a deal to sign Wigan Athletic goalkeeper Sam Tickle. The Athletic reported Arsenal hoped to sign at least one goalkeeper before the summer a transfer window closes on Friday. They have been seeing seeking, sorry, a goalkeeper with homegrown st status to join the first team squad where you've seen a lot of homegrown players leave. Tickle along with Wolverhampton's Dan Bentley is now under consideration. In addition to Tickle, they would like a replacement for Aaron Ramsdale who remains available for transfer. This would ideally be Espanyol's Juan or Juan Garcia. Tickle is 22, is a product of the Wigan Academy and has represented England at youth level. It remains to be seen if he would be prepared to forego first team football to join Arsenal. Apparently he made his England under the 21's debut in March, people. Um, pardon me, so we'll see what's going on. He played 52 times for Wigan last season, kept 18 clean sheets, one club's player of the season, and he helped the club to a 12th place finish in League One despite starting the season with an eight-point deduction. He made his debut in 2021 and has 58 appearances. And in May, he signed a deal that runs until 2028. So in theory, respectfully, beyond the obvious to Wigan, they've got a strong negotiating and he's under contract Arsenal are running against time to sign a goalkeeper he is getting first team football and obviously let's not to gas up the club I love with the greatest of respect to Wigan 
Arsenal come calling, he's bound to be listen to want to listen and be aroused by stuff, you know, learning from on paper, Aaron Ramsdale, Inaki Kanya, our goalkeeping coach, David Raya, 22 years of age, homegrown lad, knows exactly what Arsenal's about, joins us. Now, of course, where the England under-21s position is concerned and any sort of progress, maybe one day into the England national team and obviously first-team football, you would imagine um, appearances at Arsenal at first-team level this season are probably going to be hard to come by. You might get the occasional cup run, but you'd probably count on one hand the amount of appearances, in theory, he would make people. So we'll have to see what type of goalkeeper is apparently his distribution has quickly become an important aspect of Wigan's build-up play he completed the third most short passes of any goalkeeper in league one he's not afraid to switch it up however possessing a monstrous goal kick that can bypass the opposition should his short impartial options be cut off which is something we've seen knocking it to Kai Havertz people Sean Maloney I remember when he was a footballer plays a high-risk build-up game so you can see the intangibles as to why he might have flagged on some sort of scouting report he stands at six foot two people apparently Apparently, he's effective when claiming crosses, has good reflexes. So these are all what you want to hear, people. And at 22, I'm not expecting him to be the finished article. So we'll have to watch that one. Going back to the striker stuff, Arsenal are looking to make a sensational last gasp summer move for Liverpool striker Darwin Nunes. There are some reports that state... Arsenal's interest is wide of the mark and also that he just wants to leave Liverpool. With it looking like the window's going to close, not sure if that's going to happen. And I like Darwin Nunes, but he's very raw and chaotic. I do think us Arsenal fans get into the trap of some players that have some potential or they've fallen by the wayside or they look a bit raw. We just assume Mikel Arteta can help them. He can technically play out wide as well, but he in the, the best thing I can say about him is you don't know what he's going to do. The worst thing about him is you don't know what he's going to do. Obviously, Liverpool spent a handsome sum to prize him away from Benfica with Arsenal and Liverpool being rivals in Premier League clubs. Are we going to get a deal? Who knows? And again, reports can come out of anywhere. But as it says there, the report comes from Spain. It hasn't come out of local Liverpudlian media or the ITKs or the Romanos and David Ornstein's of this world in England. So I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but there you have it. And apparently they would demand a greater sum of 73 million. Now, is that does that pre present value for money? Of course, if he does the business, great. But 73 million quid on Darwin Nunes, does that make sense? Because you don't know what you're going to get, which could be good. You don't know what you're going to get, which could be bad, people. And at 25 years of age, 33 appearances in 97 appearances, 33 goals, apologies, in 97 appearances for Liverpool. It's not bad, but it's not particularly amazing. It's not necessarily eye-catching, but he could be, in theory, a good rotationary option and a good something to switch it up, I guess. Uh, Fulham considers second Arsenal raid as Arteta ponders future of 20 million star. Now, with Nelson and... Looking like time's running out in terms of bringing in another attacker for all the Lookman rumours and, and, you know, Adringa and Nico Williams and everyone. Are we going to let him go? But it makes sense for Nelson to go somewhere you're going to play more first-team football. Fulham are considering raiding Arsenal once more before the transfer window shuts on Friday after their successful purchase of Smith-Rowe team talk understands. We all know Smith-Rowe went over there. Nelson could very well join them, people. And obviously, you know, Fulham have let a couple of people go as well. You know, Bobby Reed has left, so they could deal with someone being brought in. Reese Nelson has been linked with West Ham and Leicester City prior and also Crystal Palace, but these things haven't come to anything, um, if I'm completely honest. He's made 90 appearances for Arsenal with eight goals and nine assists, which, you know... Hey, Len Product, 90 appearances for the club. That's great. Just 35 of those have been starting. And again, since 2017 to 2024, which sums up where Nelson is. Allegedly, we want 20 million, including add-ons for Nelson. He's contracted until 2027. And we also have the option to extend that by a further 12 months, people. So draw whatever conclusions you want. Romano has spoken about Victor Osimhen allegedly and said, Chelsea and Al Halahi are still the only clubs in talks for Osimhen. PSG not working on it. Chelsea are talking to Osimhen's camp as main option on a four-player shortlist. Victor doesn't plan to reduce his salary. Al Halahi are ready if Chelsea deal doesn't happen. So there you have that, people, where Osimhen, our files probably cl closed. Uh, Romano has also said Kivio and his camp have been informed by Arsenal, despite interest from both Bologna, Villarreal and a bunch of other clubs, that he will not be departing. So we'll have to see how that develops probably in January. Um, We've been linked with Dan Bentley of Wolves. Could Wolves, you know, be selling a keeper to bring one in? I mean, buying a keeper to sell one. They've apparently agreed a deal with Crystal Palace for Sam Johnson, people. And they were linked with Ramsdale. Maybe he was too expensive. Kingsley Coleman was linked with us once upon a time. His agent has said it's not true. Kingsley has not accepted any bid at this stage when asked about the Middle East rumours, people. Once again, we've gone over awesome and I won't bore you with that anymore. And I'm excited there, as you can see. Uh, again, in terms of injury updates, Gabriel Hayes 
Jesus is currently injured, as we know. Apparently, the diagnosis is more positive than people believe. Our terrorists played quite coy, but with Gabriel Jesus, who knows? Tommy Asu is still out. He could still be out for a few weeks. And where we have Spurs and, and Spurs and Man City coming up, in addition to Brighton, you would love to have Gabriel Jesus, Tommy Asu, and anyone else eligible for participation. Kieran Tini, I forgot a man. Don't know if he leaves with it, you know, being a couple of days of the deadline day, you know, deadline day approaching. Tierney, again, still a long-term absentee. We all know Arsenal have an interest in Nico Williams and we want him, but barring a miracle, I don't expect anybody expects him to sign for Arsenal in what's left of the window. So what's the point sitting here and boring you lot with such people? Uh, for what it's worth, Romano said, I don't think it's going to be a super big name like Nico Williams. I don't think Nico will be on the move. I saw many reports this week on Arsenal and Williams, but it's not realistic at all from what I'm hearing. So it depends where you're at with that. And apparently Southampton are eyeing up a late move for Ramsdale, but Arsenal wanted a permanent deal is complicating it. They had a move for another keeper fail, owing in part due to a medical. And in fact, speak of the devil, understand Southampton and Arsenal advancing well in talks for Aaron Ramsdale. Negotiations underway could get done soon. All parties optimistic. Arsenal have agreed terms with Garcia from Espanol if Ramsdale leaves. If they buy him per, per, uh, permanently, great. If they agree a deal that says, do you know what? If we stay in the division next season, we will buy him permanently great I don't really want to make a loss I don't want there to simply just be an option Ramsdale needs to go and get football and we wish you all the best at Southampton in that regards and I hope you don't get a third relegation on your CV that would be a bit crazy even though it's it's, it's a bigger game than it's than just one person so yeah we we I think we've covered everything so yeah let me know your thoughts on Darwin Nunes on Dominic Calvert-Lewin on Reese Nelson if you know anything about the Wigan keeper let me know do you think we should actually allow Aaron Ramsdale to leave rest assured if there's any emerging news or talking points i'll get videos out for you lot don't forget to follow my second channel and on that note people dg i'm out